So, this is a guide on how to build your PC. I'll go through all the steps including picking your parts, building, and finally starting it up and installing the OS. Okay, so let's get into the first part of the process as getting your PC parts together. Now, depending on what you're going to do with your PC, you want to make sure you have the perfect amount of requirements for your usage. Depending on you're going to do gaming, PC editing, including video editing, uh, rendering, animation, and certain uh, productions, including video editing and game design. So, there are two methods of gathering your PC part information. So, number one is using a website called PC Part Picker. This is a really, really useful website that helps you gather your PC parts, that shows you the prices, and also recommends other parts that would match your results. And number two is the old school way, which is obviously studying what you want to do. Look at different parts on the internet, look at videos, etc. Your own part list. Okay, so the key goals of building your PC. You want to choose the parts that fits you best for your PC usage. And also what you don't need to have. You don't need to overkill. So, if you got to think about your budget and if you need an i5, an i7, or if you're going to go with AMD. Just think of all these factors. Look, do your research. Go to uh, sites like Newegg and Tom's Hardware. Ask questions. Look up other people's questions. Find what's best for you. Okay, so now here is my video of me building my uh, PC. And I will walk you through each step. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open your case and inside there should be a bag with screws, mounting screws, and zip ties. You want to take that bag out of your case. You want to take four screws out of that bag. Okay, so grab your power supply and some cases have a top mount and a, or a bottom mount. So you just make sure and note which one you have. And you want to grab your four screws and screw them in. Next up, the motherboard mounts. Okay, so you want to get the bag that came with your case and take out the motherboard mounts. Look at your motherboard and see how many holes there are on the sides and in the middle. There should be a certain amount of um, mounting slots that you need for your motherboard. So you, depending on which motherboard and case you have, if you got an ATX case, it can fit a micro ATX or an ATX motherboard. But if you have a micro ATX case, you need to only have a micro ATX motherboard. Okay, so look at the holes on the motherboard, and in your case, there should be holes that correspond with your motherboard. All you gotta do is grab the mounts and screw them in, just with your hand. Alright, so now that those are installed, we want to do the very first component, the CPU. Alright, so on the motherboard, there should be a CPU socket protector. That's a plastic case. So you want to remove that and then now it should be visible you want to take the lever and open the lever up and by pulling it out and pulling up so this is an Intel CPU and depending on which one you have AMD or Intel there's different methods on installing the CPU so if you have an AMD look at your instructions and also look at videos online that show you how to install your AMD CPU okay so now you want to grab your CPU so note, I have an Intel CPU. Okay, so now on your CPU socket, there is an arrow. You want to find that arrow. And also notice that there is also an arrow on your processor. All right, so now you want to make sure you pull the lever out of the position where the lever is that's locking the socket. Pull it and pull up. And you notice the lid opens up and you want to make sure you gently place it back. So now you have your socket open. What you want to do is grab your CPU. Remembering where that arrow was you want on the socket, you want to gently place the processor into position and do not press down just in case you damage any pins or anything like that. Just gently place the CPU down in and drop it in slightly. And you want to give your CPU a little shake just to make sure it's snugged in there. All right, so now you want to grab that lever and your socket holder. You want to place that down. Okay, so for the CPU fan heatsink, this is pretty simple. All you gotta do is make sure that for an Intel fan, 
that the four locks have the arrows facing away from the fan itself and this is for installation so now what you want to do is place the CPU fan on top of the CPU and there are four holes around that CPU and that's where this fan will go into place you want to put that into place and make sure you wiggle it and if all of the pins move then it's in place all right and now what you want to do is just press the pins down until they all snap in and if one of them are uh, having issues don't do more force and you want to stop take it out make sure it is uh, not stuck or anything move it up and down and make sure it's all good and then go ahead and reposition the fan and press them down and they should all click in and then you want to take your wire that is for, that powers the fan take that wire and plug it into the CPU fan header on the motherboard Now put your RAM into your RAM slots and if you have to, make sure they're in the corresponding colors, gray, gray, or black and black, etc. So you're going to put your input-output shield into the back of your case, it's because we're going to install the motherboard. So now what you're going to do is drop your motherboard into your case on top of the mounts that you have installed earlier. You want to make sure that your input-output panel in the back is sticking out of the case and that you can see all of your mounts in the motherboard holes and that the screws of the mounts are visible you want to take some screws that came with your case and screw your motherboard down so now what you want to do is get your power supply cords power up everything that's going to be needed including your 24 pin your 6 pin your front panel and your USB 3.0 goes into the USB 3.0 socket or if you have a 2.0, make sure it goes into the 2.0 socket. And then you're going to need to put your power button, your lighting, and everything like that. And make sure you look at the positive and negative. It's labeled on your motherboard. Make sure you read your booklet. Look it up if you don't know. And do all of your wiring. And then your SATA cables and all of that. I just want to show you my build. And I'm happy to show you my process of my PC part picking and I hope I kind of helped you this was kind of a showcase of my PC build and also a little tutorial I hope you enjoyed the video and have a happy new year peace out